And hello, good afternoon, you guys. How are you? It's Megan Graham. I'm here with Yorkie Storytime Live. And I'm just adjusting my screen just a little bit. There we go. It's always hard to get it right because I can't see myself before I start it. Who, Alfie, what about if we let someone else be first? All right, we are gonna start with Alfie because Alfie always insists that he is the first one and he really needs a grooming. Let's go a little bit lower so you can see Alfie. Hi, Olivia, how are you? It's so nice to see you today. Welcome. Alfie really, really, really needs a grooming. Um, <laughs> Who else is on here today with me? I'm so good, Olivia. So funny thing happened the other day. I had two live streams. Hi, Rocky. How are you? Well, Rocky probably figured this out. But um, so I had two live streams scheduled this week. And being that I am the worst with technology, I apparently thought that I was on my, my scheduled fitness stream, but I actually started my Yorkie stream. I think it was on... Um, Monday when I got my meals. So I have to get my technology skills down because apparently I am a mess. And I also need to learn how to block people on, um, what is it, on YouTube live stream because there was some, like, it was my first creepy person that's gotten on a live stream. And I was like, ooh, <laughs> whoops. But anyway, I'm glad that you guys were there and it's always nice to see you. Alfie is very excited about getting brushed and Simba is here guarding the stairs because he doesn't want any of the cats to be able to use the stairs at all. <laughs> oh my gosh, Jovi, I'm so glad that you liked the fitness and nutrition live stream. That is a huge passion of mine. So I've been doing that. I mean, I've been basically working on my fitness since I was 24 years old and I'm super passionate about it. And I just see people in the gym that are, I hate to say wasting their time, but I feel like time is precious and we all have so little of it. And I always feel like I could help people to figure out their fitness stuff more easily so they can feel good about themselves and not spend all of their time in the gym. So I'm really happy that you enjoyed it. And I really, really appreciate you joining me. Um, I was just saying that I messed up my two live streams. So it looked like the fitness one was a Yorkie one. I like basically, I don't know how I did it, but my husband is still here and I love when he's here so much, but I get so distracted because I'm talking to him and trying to figure out my computer. So anyway, I'll try to keep my live streams um, correct in the future so that I don't, you know, go on the Yorkie stream and start talking about fitness stuff and so on and so forth. But um, anyway, I'm really happy that you liked it. It was like a different kind of stream and I wasn't really sure what people thought, but I love to share that stuff. So I'm thinking of just making that a regular thing too. I don't think I would live stream quite as much about fitness as Yorkie stuff, um, but I just have such good stuff to share. Um, I just took like a five week before and after and I can already see the difference from my workouts and my better eating in the gym and stuff in the gym. And I feel so much better about myself. So anyway, so that's a good thing. Um, oh, I pulled out when I was getting my grooming tools. I just wanted to show you guys. Um, I know I've told you I have a super cute toothbrush. This is the little toothbrush that I use for the Yorkies. It's so, so, so tiny. And it is called a... Kenko Care Microhead. It's K-E-N-K-O Care. I have it linked in my, um, it's actually linked in my bio, but I love this toothbrush so, so much. And also this is the toothpaste that I've been using right now, which I really, really like. Very popular with vets and things like that. It uses enzymes to clean their teeth. I do have it linked, but I know a lot of people were asking about that. Um, when I try to brush my Yorkie's teeth though, I will just tell you, they completely freak out. It's nothing like the grooming and they just go totally crazy. So I probably won't demonstrate because they'll get so mad. Um, Nick, how are you? It's so nice to see you. Thank you so much for joining me. I always love to see you. Um, Joby says, I thought it was super interesting and would love to see more, even if it was a monthly live regarding fitness and health. That's awesome. And I might even do it weekly just because I'm so into it. And if people jump on, great. If people don't jump on, that's okay as well. Um, but I really love to share the things that I've been learning because I always feel like when I get back into my fitness and nutrition, I remember a lot of things and I can kind of just bring them 
forward and share them with other people. So it's hopefully impactful because I have to say, when I'm in shape, everything else just falls into place. I feel happier for my dogs and everything. Um, Rocky, it is such an awesome little toothbrush too. I think it's like, I, it took, I do so many Google searches. I feel like I could definitely be a private detective or something. Um, I spend a lot of time on the internet finding out about things and sort of like cross-referencing and it is just such an awesome toothbrush. For me, the little finger toothbrushes were just too big because I feel like my Yorkies mouths are so small that obviously I have really, really small fingers and this is so much smaller than my finger still. So if I were to use my index finger, this is probably about a, a fifth or a sixth as big as my index finger. So it's just nice and tiny for their little mouths. Um, Oh my gosh, Rocky, I'm just so excited for you. And I'm so, so glad that you're doing all your shopping and getting ready. I have a feeling you would probably love some of the stuff that I was talking about, which is some of the Louis dog stuff as well. Um, Olivia, honestly, I try to be really good. I would say, honestly, five days a week, not seven. It seems like there's always something that happens one of the days where I don't get to their teeth. Um, I feel so bad. I try to be like the best owner in the world, but some stuff just sometimes gets, it falls to the wayside, if you will. Um, I've definitely been working on getting my routine when my husband is home to be so much better. But I feel like when Jeff is here, it's so hard because not only am I, my, oops, just sorry, I just messed up what I was saying. Not only am I doing my stuff, which is like running the salon, taking care of the dogs, going to the gym, shipping things out for my online store, making YouTube videos, streaming, and oh my gosh, oh right, and then I sell my little black towels as well. So I'm doing all that stuff and then I have a husband too. So I'm working on getting it so that he's helping me with as much as he can so that it kind of like takes off my workload. Um, because when he's here, I'm like, oh my gosh, how do I also fit in having a husband? <laughs> It's it's totally lovely, but it makes me extra busy. Hello, Leah. It's so good to see you. Welcome. And thank you so much for joining the live stream. Oh my gosh. I was like waiting. I wanted to wait to groom them until the live stream. And they seriously looked like little cousin it's today. They were so, so messy. Um, so I actually, right before I hopped on this stream, I went on and I filmed a video, which I'm going to edit. And I did a video, which was just about dog insurance because I've been getting so many comments on my other videos where people will ask me what dog insurance I use. And I know that you guys know what dog insurance I use, but I figured if they're missing it, when it's sort of buried in the content, Poppy, are you, oh, come here, Poppy, I'll pick you up. Come on, will the cat not let you up? Oh no, I think Poppy's there. I'm not sure why she's, never mind. I don't know why they're, they're barking. Everybody's up here. They're all, Poppy's right there behind me. Um, maybe they think that my husband is coming back. He just went out to get some coffee and I was filming my video that's going to be edited. So I was like, don't come back within 25 minutes because the dogs are going to go crazy. Um, I think it's okay if they go crazy during the live stream because that's like the reality of our life at home. Oh my gosh, next week you're getting your new baby. That's so exciting, Leah. How many more days are left until you get the new baby? That is gonna be the most exciting day. I'm sure you've already watched my video on the first night having a new puppy, but if you haven't for any reason, it's got some super, super good stuff in there, but I know how prepared you are, so I have no doubt that you've already watched it. So my husband has been here since, um, gosh, I think he's been here since Thursday and he is going to go back to Aspen tomorrow morning and then he'll be back. He'll be back in another probably three to four weeks and his season is almost over and then we'll just have a normal life for six months where he's here with me and the dogs and we can spend time together, um, which I am super, super excited about we have been having these little visits where we see each other for, I would say about five days. And then he has to go back to run his shop. 
And I think it will be nice just to have some more relaxed time so we can have, I got a picnic basket this winter so we can go and sit by the river in Boston and we can take the dogs out and have little picnics and things. And it's going to be so, so fun. Oh my gosh, 10 days until you get your dog, Leah. That is so exciting. And I'm glad that you watched that video. That is amazing. Yes. Oh my gosh, Rocky. I'm so excited for the six months because last year we missed it. So he had moved his ski shop from, um, he had a smaller ski shop. And two years ago before, you know, all this crazy shutdown stuff, he signed a lease for a bigger shop. And so last year it was his build out. So he just had to be there the whole time. So we really only saw each other a little bit. And then we bought this condo, which we just love this condo so much. It's in a beautiful area of Boston. And um, we were looking for a long time because the dogs and I had gotten really sick from mold that was in our luxury apartment that we lived in. So when we found this apartment and it was safe for me and the dogs and beautiful and in a safe neighborhood, um, we were just really excited to move in here, but it means like my husband is very, um, he's just very handy. He can fix anything up and paint things and do little cosmetic things to make it extra beautiful. So it will also be fun because he can make the apartment more beautiful and, and we can just spend normal time together. I think when you try to fit your life into four or five days, it's definitely, it's definitely a little bit hard. And I feel like you just have to really like cram things in. So it would be nice to have things be more normal. Um, oh my gosh, Olivia, you're so sweet. Seriously, like any question is not weird. You're the nicest person. I feel like all of you that are on here, you know, that I get to, to talk to a lot are so, so super nice. So ask away because I feel like it's just from such a good place. So there's no such thing as a weird question. Um, how are the COVID restrictions where I am? I'm in Rhode Island, so just a few hours away. Okay, so hmm, that's such a good question. I feel like um, the COVID restrictions, so I'm, as you guys know, I'm really, really into health. And of course, I don't want anybody to get COVID. I feel like people that are making restrictions don't always know what's actually making sense or healthy or going to protect you. Um, if I were deciding, like, first of all, I would tell everybody to take vitamin D. It is the most important thing that you can do to protect yourself right now. Um, when I was sick from the mold, my vitamin D was low and I got pneumonia. And so I had to learn a lot about it then. So I think vitamin D is super important. Um, there's kind of some weird restrictions, like you can go out to dinner, but you have to put a mask on in between bites. And I don't really think it makes a difference because if you're already out to dinner and you're with other people and you put on a mask in between bites, it's obviously, it's not really doing anything. So it's, um, they're pretty strict, although they're loosening them up. I think capacity in restaurants has increased. And um, I think in businesses, it's increased as well. It really doesn't affect my business because I've never, it's very exclusive and I don't have a lot of clients at a time. So I've never even been close to a capacity. Um, I feel like it's just still pretty restrictive. They have masks when you're outside. Um, and I personally feel like totally fine to have masks inside, but the masks outside sometimes seem like a little bit much, especially if you're keeping your distance, um, just because fresh air is nice. So they're still pretty strict. Um, I'm hoping that they relax a little bit because I don't know, it's just, I, I do think it's getting better. People are getting vaccinated and a ton of people have had it. So um, my thoughts on that, but it's it's still pretty strict in Rhode Island, isn't it, Olivia? And I believe, um, and it's, hi, Vanessa, how are you? It says, hello, I'm new to your channel and wanted to know how much your Yorkies weigh. Um, I haven't weighed them this week, but I think they're they're mostly between, um, I would say Lola's a little bit closer to four pounds. Poppy is probably a little closer to five pounds and Alfie is somewhere in between, but they're all basically between four and five pounds. Um, it's so funny, but I feel like I always sort of learn things when I'm making videos for you guys. And I was looking at the amount that I was feeding them and we've just been super, super, um, how do I say it? 
active. Like we've been going on really long walks because we actually live right next to a park, which is amazing. Um, and so we go on really long walks and they had gotten a little bit too skinny. So I increased their food, which they love. Um, it's just awesome. And Vanessa, do you have a Yorkie? And if you have a Yorkie, how much does your Yorkie weigh? And how old is your Yorkie? Olivia says, yep, some restrictions. Um, they make her crazy to me, but of course I follow them just to be careful, but it's still super strict. Yeah, I mean, Olivia, I'm a total rule follower as well. So I totally get you. And not saying, I'm not saying that all restrictions are, you know, don't make sense or what have you. I just think that there are some things like the, the mask thing outside never really made sense to me. Um, it's interesting, but I have a lot of, so my, I know I don't talk too much about my hair salon, but my hair salon is really, really exclusive. I'm, I charge a lot of money to do hair. So I have the most fascinating, interesting clients ever because they're women that are at the top of, you know, their professions. And so one of my clients is very, very high up in pharma. And she was, she was just like wearing masks outside really doesn't make sense. Um, she said that even with things like tuberculosis, it would be extremely, extremely, extremely rare to have any kind of transmission outside. I mean, I totally do all this stuff, but sometimes I think that certain things like getting a little bit of oxygen in your lungs outside is healthy. Um, that said, I'm also a really polite person. So I always keep my distance regardless of COVID or not. Um, and so I think that that makes a difference too. There are some people like where in the city you'll be walking and they're like practically on your shoulder. They're so close. Um, so I think having distance is still important. Um, but I do think it's getting better. I, I watch it all the time and I do think it's getting better. Um, and I think that it's one of those things as well that taking care of your health is so, so important. And I think it impacts all of this. So, you know, I've been training for bikini season, if you will, if there is a bikini season this year. Um, but I think that with the virus and what's been happening, being in super good shape is a great idea. So it's not only training to look good, it's training to really take care of your health. And I think that this might be a big awakening for people that air quality matters and fitness matters. And, and I'm not trying to shame anybody that's not in shape because I have definitely yo-yoed in my life and my weight used to really yo-yo by like 30 pounds. So it has nothing to do with me, you know, saying that anybody should be a certain weight and things like that. But I think just like being your most healthy self really makes a difference, especially now. Oh, Alfie, you're really tangly, aren't you? Um, but I hope that the restrictions get so much better. Sometimes with all of this, I definitely wish that I lived in a place that was a little bit more open just because I really miss um, some of the things that I used to enjoy doing. But on the bright side, I am such a homebody. And I also just love to be with my little Yorkshire Terriers and at home and things like that. Um, I'm so curious. Are there a lot of restrictions still where you guys are? Um, or have things opened up a lot? Oh, Alfie, you poor little guy. You are so tangly. You're so tangly. Hi, Lola. You're going to be next. Don't worry. So, um, Vanessa, that's a really good question. I usually find that with dogs, they get a little bit better or I'm sorry, they get a little bit bigger as they grow up more. So seven months is still pretty young. And what I have found with most of my Yorkies is it takes a little bit of time for them to develop their more sort of like adult muscle and their adult bodies. So yes, I think they probably will get bigger. Um, but generally speaking, most, um, most Yorkies stay on the thinner side. So if they don't gain too much weight, I wouldn't worry too much about it as long as they look healthy to you. Um, I think it's really healthy for Yorkies to be on the trimmer side. So um, it doesn't mean that they're underweight, but I, I do think that they'll probably, I think mine kept gaining weight probably until they were about a year and a half. And I know that my, believe it or not, my cat Simba that I got, the breeder told me 
I thought he would only gain weight until he was three, um, three years old. She said until he's five years old and he's already, I just weighed him the other day. He's already eight pounds. So I would imagine he's going to be pretty big. Um, his mom was 12 pounds apparently, and they can be up to 25 pounds, but I don't think he's going to be 25 pounds. So we'll see what happens. Oh, Jovi, that's a, any question is fine. So please don't even worry. It doesn't have to be a Yorkie question. I feel like the Yorkie grooming time is also just like a fun chat time. And it's, it's sort of like, this is something that I often do on other days while my mom and I zoom, which is sort of what gave me the idea to do it while I talk to you guys. I think it's almost like my version of knitting to, um, to groom my Yorkies. So I am finding YouTube really, really fun. Um, when I first started it, I was doing it because I had written an ebook during the shutdown about how to color your hair at home. And my digital marketing guy wanted me to do a YouTube. And I was a little bit nervous because um, I feel like I never felt like I, I was waiting for that like perfect day when I felt super comfortable on camera or I looked just the way I wanted to look or, or I don't know, whatever I was waiting for. But you know, how it's hard to start things sometimes. And I finally just decided to jump into it. And at first, I don't think that my personality was coming out. So it was a little bit harder for me, but I still enjoyed it. Um, the more that I've done it, the more that I enjoy it. I absolutely love, um, I love feeling that I'm giving people valuable information. I, it means so much to me when people are commenting and, and, you know, and showing up and letting me know that the information made a difference in their life with their Yorkie or just their life in general. Um, some people don't have Yorkies and they just enjoy kind of coming on and seeing the Yorkies and chatting and it feels social and good to them, which, which makes me happy. Um, and also it's felt really good to grow and know that people are enjoying my content. So it's been a really good experience for me. And I also just enjoy, um, I like it when I just feel like I can come on and be myself. So I guess I love it. It's really, really fun. The, the first kind of bad experience was that the other day someone came on to my live, which was for my fitness one, and they were saying kind of crass things. And I it, it that bothered me. Um, so I think that asking some people to moderate might be a good question, just in case someone does that. It was sort of like, I felt like it was the equivalent of when somebody cat calls you on the street. It's just not pleasant. But other than that, it's been awesome. And I think that things like that are sort of bound to happen because it is the internet and you could get some undesirable people, but I feel like 99.99% of the people that have been on have just been so amazing and so positive. So I love it. It's been a great experience. Thank you so much for asking. And oh my gosh, my channel is growing so fast. I can't even believe it. So all year long, I was working to get to 4,000 hours and that's when you can monetize your YouTube, which is a huge, huge thing because you can actually start to make it part of your job. And so it took me probably eight or nine months to get to 4,000 hours. And then I just looked at my stats today and I think people watched this month alone for 3,200 hours. So it took me almost, you know, eight months to get to 4,000 hours. And then all of a sudden I've been gaining so much momentum. So it's really because of you guys. I mean, I feel like when I get this positive energy and like, it's just fun for me to get on and chat with friends, it, it makes it like your kindness really brings it out for my channel. And I just really appreciate everybody um, showing up and being so kind. It's so nice to know that you don't have to just know people, you know, face to face from knowing them in person. You can, I think you can make friends in so many different ways. And I just feel like I have been able to chat with so many awesome people. So that's been super, super positive for me. It just, it's like so great. And it's been such a bright spot in this kind of weird year. Um, it's made a kind of weird year an amazing year for me. So thank you for everybody being so kind. So Rocky, you said you're in Texas and your mask order has been rescinded as of today. I'm not sure how I feel about it being rescinded completely and everything can open up to 100% capacity. Um, it's so interesting. Um, it's so interesting, Rocky. So first of all, um, I'm sorry to be giving, like, I hope you don't mind, but definitely if you're not taking vitamin D, 
look up vitamin D and COVID because it's a huge, huge thing. And so many people are deficient. So definitely check that out, especially if you're worried about not wearing a mask. I honestly think I hate to give health advice, but I think vitamin D is even more effective than a mask because of course a mask is letting in a lot of things unless you're wearing an N95. Um, I think the good thing too is, you know, I know there's not a mask order, but I still feel like people can wear masks if they want to. And if you feel more comfortable wearing a mask, you should absolutely, absolutely wear a mask. I mean, there's nothing, nothing stopping you if you feel better for sure. Um, oh my gosh, Rocky, you're so awesome. <laughs> I should say that. Thank you. Yes, you guys. Rocky is like the best. Rocky, you're telling me how to do my job. Um, she just pointed out, if you guys are enjoying this, please hit the like button. If you have not already subscribed to my channel, do go ahead and subscribe to my channel. It means a lot. And your support just keeps this channel going. Um, Rocky, you are so great at remembering these things. Thank you. Remind me anytime. I've been trying to remind people because I feel like I'm the kind of person that if somebody doesn't say it, I just don't do it myself. So thank you. That's so nice of you. Um, Rocky, I feel like you are one fashionable lady and you would probably appreciate. I just got really beautiful new masks. So I don't know if you're interested in seeing them because I know people are like whether there's a mask order or not. I know some people are going to be more comfortable wearing masks. And I just ordered some really beautiful silk masks that I feel like actually look pretty good on, which is always nice. Um, Olivia is asking about just food for dogs. I have been testing at home recipes and I want to try out their, um, make the DIY homemade food. It comes with a recipe and nutritional powder. Have you thought about it? Um, Olivia, I really haven't. I'm just, I think it's like great for people to do that, but I'm so maxed out with all of my activities. Um, I just have so many different business things going. So even like in the background, I sell, <laughs> I sell my creation. So I have these, I don't, have you guys ever seen my makeup towels that I produce? They're really, really beautiful makeup towels. And believe it or not, I think I've sold, like I probably shouldn't say how much I've sold. I've sold about $250,000 of makeup towels in the last two years. It's a pretty booming business. And um, I was working on getting them into Target. Target actually passed on them but I was pretty busy with that and, um, and promoting them and things. So I would love, I wish I had the time to make food at home, but that's actually one of the reasons why I don't make my own food is just, I feel like your time has to come from somewhere. And if I try to do everything at home, then I probably just wouldn't wind up sleeping enough. So um, it's easier for me to just order the food but who knows, maybe someday I'll have more time. Um, but I feel like right now I have like four different jobs. <laughs> and fortunately, I enjoy all of them. Um, but I think especially when I added the YouTube into my schedule with my other stuff that I was doing, something had to give. So I just order the pre-made dog food. But if you can make it yourself, I think it's such a great idea. Um, one thing that I would say is if you can do it, I would so get in. I'm sorry, I would so get organic ingredients. I think it makes such a big difference for people's health. And I know it's a lot to feed your dog organic, but I think it will make such, such a huge difference um, for sure. Let's see. Um, Olivia, it says, have I thought about doing a Zoom call with your fans instead of the live? I haven't really because the great thing about the live is that the live actually figures into my YouTube. So I don't know how much you guys know about YouTube, but basically um, YouTube looks at everything and they look at how many hours people spend on your YouTube, how often people. Oh, sounds like my husband might be coming home. Um, he's going to come home from the store anytime. But anyway, there's a, there's a formula that they take into account. And so keeping everything on YouTube is usually a good idea. So I may eventually have, um, there's so many different things and I haven't done this because of where my YouTube is, but what they sometimes I think do, and I'm just starting to understand this. So I'm probably, he's going crazy because I think Jeff is going to come in any second. Um, I'm just starting to understand it. I believe there is something that YouTube does where people can have memberships and then you can have like a members only live stream. So it's much smaller and more private, but I feel like my live stream is still 
really, really small. Um, I don't want to say really small, but I just, I don't think that that would be something that I need to do. Um, but I know that I can do something like that in the future if, if I want to do that. Um, so interesting. So Vanessa, I think it's totally, it depends on the dog. And sometimes it's like, like when there's noises, I always tell my husband to try to be really peaceful when I have the dogs on their backs because obviously they're really vulnerable. Um, so I try to keep it really, really relaxed. That's why it's kind of hard if he's like coming and going when I'm grooming and things. I'm more of like a mama bear than he is. So as gentle as he is, he he doesn't always get, he'll be like dropping something. And I'm like, the dogs are on their backs. You have to be so gentle. Um, sometimes what I do as well, and I, I can't really do it here so much just because of where I'm sitting, but I actually have a coffee table behind me that's on a lever. And sometimes I put a towel down and I'll set the dog in front of me. Like when Lola's being really, really squirmy, if I put her on the table, she kind of calms down sometimes. So I think it's, um, it sort of depends on what works with, um, with your dog. So if your dog really hates being on its back, I would say, don't do it. But if it seems like they enjoy it, then I think for me, it works really well, especially because I can see their faces. He's like, is my dad coming home? I need to be ready. Yes, Rocky, um, the vitamin D makes such a big difference. So this is um, obviously I'm not a doctor, but most people, if they don't get 20 minutes of sunlight a day, um, they need about 5,000 IUs of vitamin D. Obviously, this depends on the person, their body weight and things, but it's such a good thing to look into. Um, and interestingly enough, um, so the fairer your skin, the more easily you can get vitamin D from the sun, the darker your skin, the harder it is to get vitamin D from the sun. So it's a super, super important thing. And if you read about it, vitamin D actually ties into so many different health things. Um, I was super, super low a few years ago. And when I got mine up, I felt so much more en energetic. It's it's just like an awesome thing. Um, you can have your doctor test it. I would say have it tested because you don't want to just supplement not knowing what your vitamin D is, but it's a, it's a really good thing. So I weigh 115 pounds or maybe, I don't know, something like that. And I take um, 5,000 a day for my body weight. Um, and it makes a big difference. And I make sure to take it um, with fat because it's a fat soluble vitamin. Um, and Joby, you take vitamin D every day as well as other things. Oh my gosh. I'm so glad that you watch it. It's such an important one. And, um, I just wish more people would take it because it makes such a huge difference. Um, a lot of people that got sick this year um, had low vitamin D. So it's very, very protective. And if you do get sick, um, if your vitamin D is not low, your your chances of getting very sick are actually very small. So it's it's super protective. It's super cheap. I take gummies from Whole Foods and they're delicious. Lisa, how are you? Oh my gosh, please don't be sorry that you're late. Anytime you guys stop in, you don't need to be on time. I'm happy that you're here. Um, I'm always late, by the way. I don't know if anybody's noticed. I don't think, I think I would be late for my own funeral. I'm terrible about being on time, but I try so hard. Um, Olivia, I am okay. Just under five five. I wish I were five five. I think I'm five four and three quarters. Um, but my doctor once said I was five five, and I was super excited about it. Um, oh my gosh, Lisa, that's so cute. That Milo loves to lay on his back during grooming. Adorable. And you meant to say he, not she. I totally got it though. Um, I want to grab, if you guys want to see, I just want to grab the new silk mask that I got. And then I swear I'll put his hair in a pony, but they're so cute. And you guys might like them. Hang on one sec. Lola, that's not So I tend to go a little bit overboard with anything that I like. And these were made by, um, so there's a girl that works for me at the salon and her friend is an esthetician and she makes silk masks. So just to give you an idea, they're silk, they're super soft and... I think they're very pretty. As far as a mask is concerned, they're so soft, um, no bacteria and things like that. 
And I got a bunch of these because one of the other girls that I work with had them. So this is a really cool, it looks almost like, I don't know, like an animal leather. Just so I can feel pretty at the salon. And then I got this one, it's like La Bouton inspired. It's got red on the inside and black on the outside. Um, Cause I feel like either way, I'm sure I'm gonna be wearing masks for a while. So I wanted some pretty ones. Um, I thought this one was super, super pretty too, like a little bit, um, because I did go, I had to go, well, I didn't have to go, but I went to a wine tasting. I can't remember if I told you guys it was terrible. <laughs> um, look at this one, jewel toned and green. I think it's so pretty. I love it because I work with clients all day and I just like to feel a little bit prettier. This one is JLo inspired with the the nice taupe. Aren't they so nice though? Um, they're super, super pretty. Um, so Joby, these are so great and they are really, really soft. I'm, I want to find where I put, oh, here's my phone. So I can tell you the name of the gal that sent these to me. Um, let's see. So let me find her. And I'm assuming, Joby, if you asked her, I would definitely think that she would send them to you. Um, ordering was a little bit confusing, but she is on Instagram. Let me just get onto my proper Instagram so I can tell you guys the name of this gal. Um, okay, her Instagram is called Epiderm Diaries. So um, I can also, if you guys, <laughs> I'm like, I need to write this down so I remember, but I can definitely put down the name of her Instagram because that's how she sells these, but it's Epiderm. So it's E-P-I-D-E-R-M Diaries, D-I-A-R-I-E-S. And her Instagram, I'll just show you. This is what it looks like just so you can get an idea of who this is. It's probably showing up backwards on my screen, um, but she's got all sorts of pictures and there's one that she sells that is so, so beautiful. Um, I think she would do UK shipping. She's super, super good about shipping. It would obviously be more, but they feel so nice. And obviously silk is antibacterial, which is amazing. Cause I have, I'm 44, but I still break out. It's like, I guess that's, it helps me to look young that I have dewy, oily skin, but it also still makes me break out. So just wanted to share those because I know it gets me down when I put on a mask and I don't feel like I look pretty. And I feel like those are just, they're super pretty. And for me as a hair colorist that works with chemicals, um, they're probably just going to be good for me forever because I think filtering out some of the things I work with is really, really important. Um, I'm glad that you like them, Rocky. I just feel like you're super stylish. And I was like, I think you would look beautiful with one of the silk masks. Um, there's one, I just have to show you guys one that I, I literally forgot to order it. Um, look at this one. The animal print is like everything. So I'm actually going to order that as well, because I think it's so, so pretty. Um, and I don't think you can really have too many masks because you need one to go with all of the outfits. Um, and Joby said, you've been looking into getting silk um, masks as your skin has been um, kind of going a little crazy from wearing normal ones and they look really good. Um, from So just so you know too, um, what I would recommend Joby, so a lot of people wind up, I'm kind of like the queen of, I hate to say, but like knowing about bacteria and things like that just because of my experience with mold. Um, and so what I would recommend is if you do wear a mask, um, change it pretty frequently throughout the day. And I usually keep a little bit of toner. And after I take off one mask, I sometimes just freshen up my face because I feel like there is, I mean, I hate to be gross, but there's a little bit of bacteria in our mouths and it's sort of, it's sort of trapped in the mask. So don't be afraid. Just take a nice little cotton ball, freshen up your face, let it dry, and then put on a fresh mask. And I think that, that really helps with it as well. I was getting it also, I call it mask knee, but it's not necessarily acne. Sometimes I think it's actually 
forget the name of it, but they're little bumps that you can get from bacteria. So it really helps if you use a bit of toner. Um, I carry the Audacite skincare line on my site and I use the, there's like a black mint toner that works super, super well, but any toner that works well for you can make such a big difference. So I would def definitely recommend. Hi, Simply Heaven. Thank you so much for joining. I'm so glad that you like it. That makes me so happy. For those of you guys that just came on, don't be shy. Please hit the like button. It means so much to this live stream. And also don't be shy about just jumping on with any kind of comment. It's great if you have a question about Yorkies, but if you just feel like chatting or telling us where you're from, I know that everybody's always curious like where people are hopping on from. And this is a super, super friendly group. So there is no such thing as a dumb question. Just like anything that you want to say is completely fine. Obviously, we had a rude person on the other day that was like, they were saying bad words, basically. I won't say what they said, but there's none of that, obviously. Um, so if anybody comes on like that, then we will just kind of moderate that. But all friendly questions and nice things are more than welcome. Um, it can be beauty related. It can be Yorkie related. It's just a fun chit chat for us. Olivia, it was so nice to talk to you. Yes, go go walking. We're, my husband's going to be back soon and we're going to go walking as well. Thank you so much for stopping in. Um, Joby, I definitely hope that the UK shipping is not too too much um i love silk pillowcases too they're so great and they're so so much better for um your hair i think um i believe the masks were about 20 dollars a piece so they're definitely a little investment but i also feel like it's such a pain when your skin starts breaking out because you just don't feel as good about um you know you just don't feel as good about yourself when your skin starts breaking out so they're definitely worth it um, I would, the gal is so, so nice with shipping and things. So I'm sure she could ship them to the UK. I don't think it will be a big deal at all. I feel like I should have gotten into the mask business this year. I had the opportunity and I was like, no, this is just going to last for a few weeks. I'll just stick with my towels. And now I'm like, I should be selling masks. <laughs> It's okay though. Um, Lisa, I'm so glad that you like them. That makes me so happy. And you ordered, you ordered the combo too. That is, do you mean, wait, Lisa, you ordered the, um, which combo did you order? Sorry to clarify. Um, oh, no, Alfie, you can't jump. Don't jump. They're on edge because they know that my husband's coming back anytime and they love him so much. They're going to be so sad when he leaves. So we had my meal delivery service came twice this week because my husband was here and Oh my gosh, the meals that they made were so delicious. Like definitely some of the best meals I've, I've honestly ever had in my entire life. And I told our chef and she was so happy. I don't think that people usually take the time to actually tell her how great her cooking is, um, which is so funny. I just always believe in letting people know when I'm grateful. But um, she said she almost started to cry. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Did that hurt you when I was getting that little nod out? Um, anyway, she was really, really thrilled. But like they were they were out of this world delicious. Perfect. Oh, my gosh. No need to apologize, Lisa. That's great that you ordered the comb. I think you're going to love it so much. Alfie definitely needs like extra, extra combing today because we got really busy yesterday and we went out um, not to do any major shopping, but I feel like, does anyone else, this is kind of a funny thing to say, but does anyone else just love bathrobes these days? I don't think I've ever been a big bathrobe person, but since I've been at home so much more, I feel like there's something super, super cozy about bathrobes and I wanted to go get a new one. So my husband and I went out shopping because I have not really done much shopping and I got myself like the nicest fluffiest um bathrobe at this Italian linen store um I had another one that was synthetic and it kept shocking the Yorkies and they were so upset about it that I'm getting rid of that one so I have a really comfy one so kind of a funny bit of info but I feel like I don't know about you but I will basically just do anything for my puppies um so they're going to much, you, I've got to get the goopies out of your eyes. Come on, you little baby. Come on. Good boy. Um, so we have been having trouble keeping our little kitten off of the tables. Um, we got some compressed air and 
he's honestly not really afraid of anything. He sort of jumped away from it, but you know, it wasn't like this. You can tell that after he's been around the compressed air, probably like four or five times, he's just not going to care at all. So my mom sent a water gun in the mail and the water gun finally works. So I think it will be possible to keep him off of the tables and also just to get him if he's Sometimes he attacks Alfie a little bit. I'm just arranging my elastic. Sorry about looking over here. Um, sometimes I feel like he just attacks Alfie a little bit more than he needs to. So the water gun is really going to come in handy. And it's like, is this terrible? I also think it's kind of funny. Um, <laughs> oh my gosh. Heaven, it says you've been looking through your closet and you found a bathrobe and it's so comfy. I just feel like it is, Alfie, we have to do your hair still. You can't go away. It's just the most comfy thing to have one. And I keep my, I like my condo to be pretty cold. Um, but in the morning when I wake up, it's just a little bit too much. So the one that I got is so beautiful. It, sometimes I feel like for things that we use every single day, like bathrobes and pillows. It's like, we don't want to spend the money on something really nice that we really love. Alvi, he's like, I'm, I'm done. We got to put your pony in and then you can, then you can show everybody how handsome you look. That's right. Um, so it's just nice to have something. Um, my, one of my friends used to say that you should love the things that you touch every day. And so anyway, I got this bathrobe and I love it. And I know it's kind of boring that I'm that excited about a bathrobe, but it is the little things that we do for ourselves that make a difference. Um, and it feels really, really nice. Um, my husband's probably like, wow, that's a really great looking huge white bathrobe that you got. But I think at the end of the day, come on, Alfie, you're so handsome. He doesn't like it when I put in the second. He's like, um, I'm out of here. I don't need to be here. Come on. I don't want to put your, your ear in the ponytail too. He is definitely one of the hardest ones to brush. Although Lola has been super, super sassy when I'm brushing her lately. And she's, she has no teeth, but she's been trying to bite me. Here we go. Here we go. Look at this guy. You want to look at the screen? Are you handsome? He's a good boy. Um, I should get some updates. I don't know if I told you guys, but he had puppies that I think are about, come here, Lola. I think his puppies are three or four months old and I was so tempted to get one. Um, the breeder of course had the puppies, so I, I don't have the puppies, but I was really, really tempted to get one, but I also feel like the noise level in my condo would have been crazy. And I thought, oh, now that's definitely my husband. Here he comes, hold on guys, sorry. Hi, love. That's okay, honey. Jeff is home now. All right. Do you want to go say hi to daddy and then come back to get groomed? Everybody has to see daddy when he comes home, as you guys can see. He just went to get some things in the store and a chocolate bar for me, which was much, much needed. Um, Jovi, it says you were looking at my website and saw the little black towel and you're wondering if it's just for removing makeup or do you clean your face with it? So, um, they're like, they're going crazy. Sorry guys. Um, so you can actually do both. I use it for so many different things. So I use it to dry my face. I, Jeff, how many black towels do you fold a week? A lot. So <laughs> how many honey? Like I probably go through like 20 black towels in the laundry per week. Um, I use, at, he says at least I do. I use so many a day just with abandon because I have so many of them. So I tend to use one to wash my face and then I keep a fresh one to dry my face. And the reason I use a different one every single time is that my, one of my best girlfriends is a dermatologist and she told me that um, you should only use a towel to dry your face one time and to wash your face one time because they get bacteria. And again, for breakouts and things, you don't want bacteria. So I always use a fresh one. Um, other things I use them for, I usually have one down when I put my makeup brushes on the counter. So they're on something. And um, I am the queen of spray tanning. I always am spray tanned because I'm basically like, I'm as white as this um, little paper towel in real life. And I don't look good that way. So I always, um, I'm always spray tanned and I exfoliate off my spray tan with them. And after I take the dogs out, I use them to clean their 
paws too, just so that they don't have salts and things like that. So there's like a million different things that you can use them for. Um, they're actually, the Spanish version is on sale right now on Amazon because the English version did so, so well. And I did um, maquillaje because I feel like there are so many Spanish speaking people, but that one just really didn't sell very well. I don't know if maybe there's not a market for it or it would do better in Spain, but I don't know that I'll do the Spanish version again. I think I'm probably just going to stick to the English version. Um, I need to brush Lola, do you, or do, where's Poppy? Poppy, do you wanna get brushed? Come on, Poppy. Come on, good girl. I think Poppy's hiding, so I'm gonna go get her. Hold on, let's see. You'll get her for, okay, my husband is going to deliver a dog for me to groom. Oh, Poppy, Poppy likes being brushed, but she also likes being with daddy. Come on, I'm gonna adjust this a little bit more because I feel like it's nicer for you guys sometimes to see the dogs than just to see me. They're, they're much cuter, if you will. Oh, and also Joby, thank you so much for checking out my website. Um, I did so, so much on those sites during the, during the shutdown and I really expanded them and things. So I'm, I'm pretty proud of my e-commerce site and I sell quite a bit on it, which is, I think it's so cool to have a little online store, if you will. Um, and I did hear back, so I'm going to order some of the dog combs. Um, what do you guys think about me having on my clean beauty site, actually having a little, um, a puppy section where we have some healthy things where I get some of my favorite shampoos and conditioners and oh hello Alfie what do you have oh he has a bone he's going to sit right in front of me to chew his bone um, so I thought it would be nice just to have some of the things that I'm always recommending on my site so I could ship them out I have super cute little recycled boxes I send everything out in um, with my logo and they say stay healthy and stay beautiful and then my other, my other saying is, it's not just about looking good, it's about being good, which I think is really, really true. So anyway, but you can use the towels for a million different things. And they're one of the best things about them is that they're bleach resistant. So you don't have to worry if you use things like, um, some people use anti kind of acne products or aging and they won't bleach out. I've even used soft scrub on my sink and then set one down and it did not bleach out. So it's really nice that they stay black and um, they don't get spots when you throw them into the laundry with bleach. Oh, Poppy, you're gonna be beautiful today. She's gonna be beautiful. Lovey, what kind of chocolate did you get me? Ritter Sport Alpine oh, Milk Chocolate. Yes. <laughs> he got me Ritter Sport Alpine Milk Chocolate, which is my favorite milk oh, chocolate. Yeah. But did you get yourself a bar of it as well, or just one for me? It says there's three servings. It says there's three servings, which means so that's for me. You get two and I get one. <laughs> I love chocolate. <laughs> oh, I'm so glad that you that you liked the puppy section and you liked the blog section. Um it's so funny. So I haven't really done much blogging since I started doing my, um, since I started doing my YouTube, because I feel like it's so much easier to do almost like a, a vlog, if you will, um, than it is to, to actually write. Although sometimes I'll sort of like cross promote my, um, my videos by also doing a written blog. Um, I personally, it's funny. I love reading. So like I'm bigger on reading than watching videos, which is kind of funny considering that I make videos. Um, but I think maybe I should go back to a little bit more writing as well, because I think that a lot of people do like that. Um, Joby, one of the things that I was thinking about doing, I do still really want to um, do some reviews of beauty products and, and things, especially clean beauty products, because that's my passion. Um, I'm curious. I feel like I know everybody loves Yorkie videos and I do too, but I don't want to lose everybody's interest if I do, you know, a variety of YouTube videos, but does it, I'm just curious, is there anybody out there? Does it bother you if I kind of try some different content. I feel like I love to share my beauty favorites because I did so much research on finding things that actually work that are clean. Um, I used to think that for something to work, it had to be, you know, one of the traditional products that had, you know, 80 different chemicals in it that you couldn't pronounce. But 
after looking for quite a few years and testing different things, I found some super good options. Like I have a vegan whitening pen that you paint on your teeth and it makes your teeth super, super white with no sensitivity. Um, so I love to share that stuff too. Um, it's, I just have a bunch of different interests. Wow, Poppy really needed a grooming. I cannot wait. So this coming week, um, what I was thinking of is um, I did just film a video on dog insurance that I'm putting together, but I was thinking of doing like a before and after video and just talking about how I prep them for their grooming because it definitely took me a few years to really get it down to where I felt like I was communicating well with the groomer and my dogs came back looking the way that I wanted them to. Jeff, don't they always come back looking like a million bucks? They look me. I wish they'd be like that all the time. Yeah, we wish they would be like that all the time because when they come back from the groomers, they look so, so, so cute. Um, but the only thing is it's a really long day for them. And I know that they don't really like to be there all day. So I kind of try to stretch it out. I don't, how do your dogs feel about going to the groomer? Do they, do they enjoy it or are they kind of like unhappy at the end of the day? Oh, Poppy, I've got to get your little tangles out of here. I'm sorry, honey. She's so pretty. I really do wish they could look like that all the time, honey. They look so cute when they get groomed. Oh, I'm so, Joby, that's so cool that you watched my room tour. Um, I was thinking about doing something like that in some of the different rooms of my house because there's definitely a reason why I have all of the different things and it's really, it's really fun to share them. Um, I choose my stuff really, really carefully. And sometimes I think that it might spark interest with other people that might not know about those items. And then if they want to ask me about um, any of those things, I'm always happy to share. Um, I always try to find things that not only are healthy and work well, but are also really pretty. Um, for instance, I'm looking, when I was getting the cat, I don't know if you guys have cats, but when I was getting the cat, I felt like all of the cat trees were the ugliest things that I had ever seen. And um, it took me so long to find a cat tree. And then when I did, um, I have pictures of it on my Instagram and things. And when I put it up, so many people started writing me and they were like, that's the best looking cat tree we've ever seen. Where did you get it? We want to get it too. So let me see if I can, I'm going to try to spin you and I have always dog hair in my nose. Sorry about that. Let me just see if I can show you my cat tree. We're going to spin you right by Jeff and Eddie. There's our dining table. And so it's a super, super cool cat tree. Simba loves it. And it's got like a little dog. Well, it's actually a cat house at the bottom, but um, sometimes Alfie goes into it. And when Elfie goes in there, Simba chases him right out of the cat tree. Oh, Lola. Lola. Lola's being a little bit yappy right now. I'm not sure. Oh, because the dog upstairs is running around. There's a dog upstairs that goes kind of crazy. Um, so, Joby, you said you wouldn't mind if I did some different content. You were watching some. I'm so glad. So, I'll definitely do that. And, Rocky, you said the same thing. Um, that makes me so happy. Because I, I just feel like all of the content really ties together. And I don't think I'm the only person that loves Yorkies, but also loves health and beauty. So it's fun to just share some of that stuff. Um, I'm super passionate about, I don't know if you guys have seen, but I carry a line called Audacity on my website. And um, it is, it's been the best skincare line I have ever used. And for me, I'm really sensitive um, so finding something that not only worked, but also just didn't inflame my skin was huge. Um, because if I use anything that bothers me, I instantly get rosacea and, um, and then that makes me really self-conscious. So, oh, the cat's coming. Simba. We're not sure exactly what he's doing, but he's stalking something over here. You're almost done, Poppy. And then Lola's going to be next. We're going to clean out your little eyes. Somebody has something. Oh, it's Alfie. Alfie has his bone. Perfect. Um, so Rocky, the prepping and the grooming, I'm glad you'd like that too. I feel like it'll be really helpful for people because um, I think the reason that I probably prep my dogs for grooming 
differently than other people is that I am a hairstylist. So I think that that kind of understanding and constantly consulting with clients makes me a little bit more communicative when I drop off my dogs for grooming, because I think most people just drop them off and hope for the best. Um, and of course you want to be super nice. It's not like I'm mega bossy, you know, about what I want, but I think giving people an idea of what you want and giving people pictures always means that your dog is going to look better, you know, when it comes, when it comes out, when it's done with its grooming, if you will. Did I put purple into your hair, Alfie? Yes, I put purple bands in Alfie. So it looks like Lola is going to have some blue bands. Oh, Poppy, you look great. Poppy is like the sweetest girl for grooming. Look at this little face. Come here, Poppy. Wanna look? You gonna be shy? Let's put your second one in. Hi, Candy. You are not on the chat too late. You're never too late, so don't even worry. Um, it's just really nice of you even to show up and to say hi. So please, like, you guys never apologize for getting onto the chat and not being here at the beginning. I'm on for so long. Like, definitely some people come in and then they have things to do and any time is great. But it says, um, you wanted to ask if any of my babies got into any serious injuries prior you have a one-year-old at three and a half pounds and he ended up breaking his um, meta, I think it's metacarpals. Um, and it says you're running high at this point because you didn't have any pet insurance um, or vet bills are running high. Um, look at Poppy, she's so cute. So yes, Candy, and welcome as well. Um, don't forget, by the way, to hit the like button. And if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, it would be awesome. Um, so, Basically, like, uh, yes, uh, Lola did injure herself. May I have Lola, sweetie? It's her turn to get room. Oh, my gosh. He's the cat. He's like, what is he eating now? Simbers. He's really naughty. Good. Oh, Lola, you're a mess today. So my, my little Lola that I'm holding here, actually, I was doing a fitness competition when she was about one and a half years old. And I had asked someone to watch her and I did not think about it. So partially it was my fault. Um, she had stairs at home. And do you know that I didn't give the person stairs when they watched her? So now someone stays at my home and they have everything that they need when they watch them. But she didn't have stairs and um, she jumped off. And oh my gosh, and Joby, let me just say, seriously, don't apologize for asking things that are not Yorkie related. It's just fun to chat. Everything does not have to be Yorkie related. And I just like chit chatting. So you can ask about anything. You don't have to keep it to, to Yorkie topics. You can feel free to chat about other stuff too. We're really just here to chat. It's Yorkie talk, but Yorkie talk is also just life talk. So thanks for stopping in and never apologize. Um, so Candy, I would say um, I mean, if you don't have pet insurance, I don't think there's anything you can do about the expenses that you're incurring now. But what I would say is just, you know, do get pet insurance moving forward so that when something happens in the future, you know that you will be protected. Um, so Lola, basically, I did not have stairs for her and she jumped off of um, Simba. He's just like knocking things down. So she jumped off of the bed of the person that was watching her and she broke her leg. Um, it was a very, very bad break. And she's so small that initially the surgeon did not know if she would be able to have her leg be repaired because it was so small. It was almost high Simba. Hello, bloody. It was almost too small to put a pin in, but they were just able to get the smallest pin into her leg. Um, it needed to have two surgeons working on it. So you can imagine a surgery with two surgeons is more than a surgery with one surgeon. Her anesthesia was very, very tricky. Um, when she was healing, um, she was also trying to, he's, he wants to get the hair and the, um, elastics off of the, off of the paper towel. But when she was healing, she was actually eating the stuffing out of her cast and getting sick from that. So I had to put a cone on her. So it was a really big debacle. It was really, really expensive to get her leg fixed. Um, but I would say that I don't think there's anything you can do to manage the costs. I think that's going to be out of pocket. And then I would just get, you know, get insurance for after that. So you don't have that happen again. I'm so sorry that that happened. And I hope that 
things are healing up really well with your baby. I've just been really lucky that I have always had pet insurance for, you know, anything bad that's happened. And I, and I got it right before my dog started to have some issues. So I'm very, very lucky. And I'm lucky that I did have it because everybody got very sick from the fact that we were living in mold. Um, so anyway, I'm glad that I had it, but just, just get it now because, you know, breaking a leg or, or having an injury isn't always like the worst thing that can happen. So it's just great to have the insurance for sure. Um, what specifically do I ask the groomer when I get their hair cut? And hello, how all are you, Altus Beauty? Um, so basically, I, I don't just ask, I use pictures. Because if you think about it, and I'm so sorry, by this point in the grooming, I have Yorkie hair and it's just attached to my face. Um, but I actually bring pictures or I print pictures or send them to the groomer's phone. And they're, oh, 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 no. Could you get your cat, Jeff? He's he's trying to eat the elastics he's, again. Now he's my cat. Yeah, he's, he's Jeff's cat. And when the cat's bad, he's Jeff's cat. When the cat's good, he's my cat. Um, so basically, I have pictures and they are of my dogs because I think it's it's the best it can be if it can be like your dog or at least of a similar hair type of your dog. And if like, say you're showing a ponytail or something, um, it's good if your dog's hair is long enough to do that. But I give her photos and I just kind of point out the important things to me. So I'll say things like if you can make their face round, like a little puppy cut. But, you know, I do specifically ask her to leave the hair that it's sort of like the hair that comes under their eyes. I don't like that shaved. I like it to sort of drape down. So I don't think it hurts to say a few things. And I'll also point out things like I'll say, you know, don't be afraid to take quite a bit of body hair out. It's summer and they haven't been cut in a few months. Just anything that makes it easier. I think communicating is really good. And then I also just say thank you so much for taking care of my babies. I really appreciate the fact that I always know they're in such good hands. So just letting them know that I appreciate them and I'm not trying to be a pain. Um, but she said she actually really, really appreciates the fact that I'm specific. And, you know, we switched over to her because our groomer moved to Maine after the pandemic. And um, this new person who also works at the same place was really scared to groom my dogs. And she did such a fantastic job grooming them, like just an amazing, amazing job. Um, such a good question, honestly. So I, um, Heaven, I got my Yorkies. Lola was the only one that I got as a baby. And um, I don't remember what she weighed. She might've weighed like a pound and a half or two or something. But I don't remember because it was so long ago. She's eight years old now. Um, and I didn't get my other Yorkies as babies. So they basically weigh the same because Poppy was a year and a half old. So I think she was, she probably weighs the same now that she, she did when I got her. And Alfie was like, I think Alfie was two and a half or three years old. So he weighs the same too. Um, he's really funny because he looks bigger than he is because he just has such thick hair but he's honestly one of the smallest Yorkies that we have. So my mom just mailed back some things that used to be, for those of you guys that don't know, I did have a Yorkie named Teddy and he was like my first Yorkie I've ever had. And he was such a cutie. And um, anyway, he passed away two years ago and my mom had some of his stuff because she was making a memory bear for me, but she didn't use all of his stuff. So she sent it back. And there was a jacket in there. And I, yesterday, Jeff and I were taking the babies out on a walk. And I was like, oh, let's put Teddy's jacket on Alfie. It was so big. It looked like he was trying on his big brother's clothes, which is basically exactly what he was doing. Um, but anyway, so Teddy was definitely longer and bigger. Like at his healthiest, he weighed about seven pounds. So the jacket was pretty big on him. Um, for sure. And Shira, how are you? Thank you so much for joining us today. It's nice to see you on here. Um, I don't remember, Shira, where where are you joining us from? What city? I am in Boston and we've really, we've got folks from all over the place on this live stream, which is really, really nice. I'm just sort of finishing up my grooming on Lola. She always has the most tangles and she's very, very ornery when it comes to getting groomed. Oh, Lola, you're so scary. You're so scary. And you've got, she doesn't have teeth. So she really always has a lot of tangles because that food just kind of 
mixes right in. I'm going to probably even use a little bit of um, waterless shampoo to get some of that food out because her little her little face is so messy right now. Oh, there's my comb, just getting all the yuck out of her eyes. She's such a good girl. There he goes. Does anybody ever miss a day of grooming their Yorkie? Um, we were so busy yesterday and I did not groom my Yorkies. And now I feel like it's, they look like they've never been groomed when I miss one day. It's amazing what a big difference missing a day makes. Okay, baby, come here. Good girl. <laughs> Alfie, he's like, is it my turn again? Can I get groomed? Good girl. We gotta get all the things out of your eyes because you're a good girl. There you go. Good girl. Alfie is anxiously awaiting. I think it's how warm is it outside, honey? Oh, uh, that's probably forty-five now. It's getting cooler. My husband said it's, he said it's 45 degrees out, so it's pretty. Oh, Lola, it's pretty beautiful out there. Oh, my goodness, Lola. She's being really spunky today. She does not want to be brushed. It's definitely time to shave down that little body so that she is not so tangly. It's Oh, so heaven, it says just today you groomed yours you never knew how different she looked until i fixed her up isn't it amazing when you brush their hair how much better they look lola is really tangly right now and i think it's probably a mix too i find that in the winter time with all of the salt and there's just more grime in the winter time without rain to clean everything oh no she's making really funny little sounds um so i find that when her fur gets all the grime in it. It's just, oh, you're being so ornery. Um, it's just even harder to keep them untangled. Um, in the summertime, it just seems like it's a little bit cleaner outside. Well, guys, it was so nice to chat with you today. I really appreciate everybody stopping on. Um, and again, don't be, don't ever worry about, if you come in at the end of the live stream, um, anytime you come in is great. You're not late. Um, as long as you're here, you're right on time. So never be shy. It doesn't matter what time you get here. You're always welcome and you're welcome to comment. And it doesn't matter if somebody asked the same thing and you weren't on and you didn't hear the answer. Don't worry about it. You can ask the very same thing. Um, I don't mind the questions. I actually love it when people jump in to chit chat. Um, Joby, I would love to see you at the next live. Thank you so much for coming. I think we, Jeff and I are gonna take advantage of the beautiful weather outside. Even 40 degrees feels like summer right now, but I will talk to you guys at the next live and I'm gonna work just for a couple more minutes over at my table on this little gal's legs cause she looks like a disaster, but I love her so much. Thank you so much, you guys. Definitely hop on the next live, stay healthy and beautiful. And Jeff is gonna be back in Aspen, but Jeff says, hold on, let me, Jeffy, say bye. Bye, <laughs> <laughs> He'll be back soon. <laughs> Thank you so much, Heaven. It was so nice of you to join. And please do tune in next time. Um, I'm, I'm always here on uh, Sundays and Wednesdays. Rocky, have a great evening. And um, if, if you like, I'll definitely um, include where those masks came from because I know the spelling probably wasn't very helpful. But you are beautiful and you would look gorgeous in one. And, she, and Rocky says, bye, Jeff. Bye, Rocky. <laughs> <laughs> he says bye, Rocky. Good night, everybody. It was great to chat with you. Stay healthy and stay beautiful.